ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to another episode of Seven Wing Six. I am your co-host, Kyle. I'm here with Gary in the lair. And Jack, are you outside? Yeah, I'm outside, man. It's it's nice out today, dude. It's that snowed out today. Like, it's snowed out today. It seems like your wings are I like cold. the snow. It's fine. You're all good, though? Yeah, I'm good. I'm ready to eat wings. You know, I got them next to me. I'm just waiting for us to... To do the thing. Well, yeah, so we got these from Wing Kings. Jack, uh, J- Jack's cutting out on us. Jack, you, are you there? I'm Jack, you there? Here. Jack, we, we can't hear you. Jack. We... We... We just lost Jack. We lost... We lost Jack, guys. Um, Call on Amberlands. Quick... Call on Amberlands. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick synopsis. We, uh... Jack was nice enough, and I don't know where he is. We're going to have to check on him soon. Um, But he went and got us some wings from Wing Kings. Uh, That is located down on Elmwood. He knows somebody. We we went and got a... Oh, oh my God, I'm here. He has risen. Where did you come from? He has risen from the depths. My phone died. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. My phone died. I don't know where Jack was, but he sprinted and he got here. I stole a beer out of your fridge real quick. And he stole a beer. He rose through the ashes like a phoenix. Like, no, I was scared because my phone disconnected, right? And then I was like, shoot, they're eating without me. So I just came to Tiles out. He ran. He was <gasps> down Elmwood. He was 17 minutes driving. Woo! He didn't test for the uh, combine. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Uh, so, Jack, you want to explain a little about these wings? Yeah, so, oh, my God, I'm tired. So, Wing Kings, we you went You are winded, man. You got to relax and you got you to stop yelling. I'm good. I'm good. So, this is what happens when Jack's back in, in the seven wing six bungalow. He yells. Oh, the bungalow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got four different flavors. We got s'mores as a dessert wing, which is super exciting. Uh, we it's got, messy. It's it is messy. It's sticky too. Uh, it, it just looks messy. We got generic mediums. Um, our always our norm, the hottest that they got. It's called nine one one. Call it. You're gonna need first. it. Literally call the police. And then we got a dry rub taco wing. I so love me some dry rubs. Surprising. Uh, so boys, well now that Jack's here, Whew, I'm here. What do you say we uh, get down to business here? Let's do it. Sounds good. What do we dry, start with? Dry rub taco. Dry rubs. I mean, well that one's me. So this one looks like you because it's the only other, the only other flatten on this. No, don't oh, that's a dr- oh, it just looks like a flat. All right, all right, Gary, you all set. Let's do it. I'm good. Here's to uh, seven wing six getting back to normal. Sweet. Yeah, hopefully soon. Ken's blue cheese. Not that much of a disappointment, but they don't have really their own blue cheese, I guess, unless that's just a pandemic thing. That was the first thing Jack told me when he dropped me these wings. He goes, real upsetting. They don't have house blue cheese. And I like when places make their own blue cheese. I think they're like wing nuts. I heard they make them. No, they're terrible. They're horrible. There's a difference here. I they're like this. They're terrible. They're dicks. No, this is good. Yeah, the only wing nuts is a dick. Gary, how are you doing over there? What are you thinking? Would I rate them? Well, you can rate them first, but I was asking how you doing. I'm doing good. I'm enjoying these wings. Uh, stuck in my little cave here, but we're chugging along. Well, you know what they do say about gear burgers? They hibernate. Yeah. I wish this I is just your hibernation. That's why you're doing that. It's just hibernation. That's fine. Do what you got to do, Gary. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh Gary. No. You want to lead us off? Yeah, let me get this last little bite here. Yeah, oh, perfect. You get in on that, you smack a lot. Those are so good. <laughs> They're phenomenal. It tastes like a taco. And like, it tastes like a beef taco, but it's chicken. It's super weird. No laws. Buster. No laws when you're drinking claws? I got my Bud Light lemonade. You stole my roll, and I stole yours. <laughs> I got the Bud Light lemonade. Bud Light orange. I love the orange. Okay, Ooh. so... Taco. I actually really like this wing. Uh, pretty unique. What's not um, to like? Right. It's uh, very enjoyable. I would order these every time I go there. So, I would for go Chris, there and order these. Right, for real. I'm going to be going there more often, actually. So, 8.5 on the crisp, because that was a pretty crispy wing. I don't know what they do to it, but it's crispy it as heck. It's crispy as crap. Yeah. Crispy as crap. Coining that and putting it on a t shirt for Jack. Chris Jack's yeah. crispy crap. <laughs> Ew! So, uh, meat wasn't huge. wasn't It was just an average wing, seven five on the meat. Um, sauce, I give it an eight because it's not really a sauce; it's a dry rub. 
but I'm substituting the dry rub as the sauce. So eight yeah. because I liked the amount that they put on it. It's not lacking in dry rubness. So, and then eight for the flavor. I really like this wing. And then price. These weren't bad. These weren't bad for the price. I think we paid. Uh, what was it? Yeah, like? it was like it was like a dollar a wing or so. Yeah, so uh, eight on the price because it's not expensive, relatively uh, decent wing, and that gives it an eighty for my score. I shouldn't have ran. Yeah, I should have ran a gay. Did you give a what score? An eighty. Eighty. You know what's even better is he's pretty on par with all. He really is. Jack, I'll go. Go on. I'll go. So taco. This was this was actually a really good wing. Um, I gave it a crispiness as a nine because it was really crunchy. I, again, I don't know what they do, uh, but crispiness was a nine. So Whatever they really, did, they're doing it right. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a really crispy wing. Uh, my friend also works there, so he said he was gonna like make them the best ever. So like, cool. Kudos to you, Lorenz. Thank you. Uh, meatiness again, it's just a generic meaty Lorenz. wing. Lorenz. Lorenz is his name. I thought it was Michelle. No, it's not Michelle. No, not Michelle. Michelle is my camera girl. Oh. Lorenz is my friend that works at Wing Kings. Meat. <laughs> Maybe this is a seven again. Size of the wing, it's like it's a normal wing, so it's about a seven. Uh, the sauce again, I did the same thing you did. I substituted the dry rub for the sauce. It wasn't too thick on there, which is super cool. So I give it an eight. Flavor, as I just said, it tastes just, just like a beef taco. So eight and a half. I don't know how they, I don't know what they put on it, but it's awesome. Oh, yeah. Tacos? <laughs> yeah, I get that, but <laughs> and then price point was also an eight, so I give it an eighty-one total. All right. Uh, well, I'm on par with you guys all. Uh, I gave it a nine on crispiness. I gave it a seven on the meat. I gave it a seven on sauce. Um, I think Gary, that's what you gave it as well. It was seven. I kind mm-hmm. of expect more when it comes to a dry rubber sauce. There wasn't a whole bunch on it, but it's still really good. So I gave it an eight for the flavor. I gave it an eight for the price. Uh, mine came to a seventy-eight. Cool, but it's still, close. It I had a, a uh, I had an eight for my sauce. That might be the dry all been on one wing. Yeah. We were one off by three because us, and then he had an 80. So 80, right 80, 80, 81, 78. So within three points for three people. It's pretty damn good. I'm into that. Um, You want to go to? On ours, we had s'mores, but I said, let's save that as, as the actual bonus. Yeah, let's go with that last. Yeah. Let's go with the medium. Scary? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. take the perfect. I got to smell these because it's dark over by where my wings are, so I got to tell, can't tell who which is which. That's fair. I don't mind Ken Blue Cheese. No, I, I don't either. I dig it. You definitely have this specialty you get to when you get fresh blue cheese. Yeah. I had to live off of Ken's Blue Cheese in college just because they don't have blue cheese anywhere. Well, it's because you also lived off of Sheets in college. Mm-hmm. Yo, know, Sheets is so good. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm just crying. I, I just had Sheets the other day. Sheets is good. Anybody in Buffalo watchers, you don't know what Sheets is, go to Erie. Mm-hmm. For real. Don't think it's where it's the best um, drunk slash hangover food. For real. And people think Wawa's better. No. This spicy chicken sandwich is surprisingly Wawa? good. Wawa? Wawa's good, but it's not. No, no, Wawa's good, but it doesn't have as yeah. much yeah. menu yeah. options. They're pretty similar, but Sheets goes, I give Sheets the over on the. Oh, absolutely. I asked my Wawa was because there's nothing else around. Yeah, we were all because up. the sheets was like 20 miles away. <laughs> Thank you, Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. All right, Gary. Um, I'm going to have Jack start this time. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm starting. So we did the medium. Okay, so yeah, Medium. Schmediums. Schmediums. All right, so crispiness, about a seven and a half. I don't know. I, I guess the sauce kind of just lost some crispiness there. Um, meat, again, generic size wing, so about a seven. Sauce was an eight. I like that it wasn't coated on there, like some places coat on there. Don't drool on yourself. I can't help it. Uh, sauce was, again, an 8. It wasn't too thick on there, which was cool. Flavor, I gave it an 8. It's not an amazing medium. Like, I know some places add, like, some other sauces and stuff. It was just kind of like a generic hot sauce. Yeah, I, I think, let me give you what I first said when we, when we tried it. This is this is the generic medium, medium that you it. expect of a buffalo. Yeah, this it's is, no, nothing special. No frills, no surprises. A little bit oh, of heat. This is what I expect when I order yeah. medium. Gives you that enough heat if you're like, don't know what a hot sauce is, I guess. Uh, price point, I got a dollar a wing. I give it an eight, totaling up to a 77. Total. You know, I want to make a note on this. Um, that medium is still too hot for Frank. That's <laughs> hilarious. What's he going to think about the 911s? 
He ain't gonna try until yeah. he can't be on the show. What about the s'mores? He, he might. He would eat the s'mores. He, he, he might try. Yo, make an apple juice ring. He's all over it. Uh, <laughs> Gary. Yeah. So, uh, medium, pretty average wing. Uh, I didn't hate it. Um, I would order it if like uh, I didn't know any of the other flavors there. It'd be like one of the wings I'd probably order. Um, mine was pretty crispy because I had a flat, and usually for me I prefer the drums, and uh, my flat was pretty crispy, so I had an eight for the crisp. Um, nice. Meat, pretty average meat. Um, seven five. I didn't give it like a too high score because it's they're not like huge wings; they're average wings. Um, then seven, I gave it a sauce. It wasn't too saucy, but uh, enough sauce on there just to just to uh, give you a good time. And then give flavor. You a good time. Yeah. Dry rub daddy. <laughs> and then dry uh, flavor. Daddy. Here for a good time. Here oh my god, time. these shirts are gonna be great. <laughs> uh, so flavor is a seven because it wasn't special. It's pretty average, but I would order it if I was there. And then price was an eight across the board again because uh, you can't beat that price. And then I had a seven five total if I did the math correctly for that medium wing. We are we are on the ball today. We're good today, boys. Um, I had a seven and a half on the, on the crispiness, uh, and it's funny because that's the least crispy wing I had all day. Was that one? Yep. And that's including a s'mores wing drenched in. Oh yeah, that's it's so um, weird. I love it. Where I really dropped on this, given it a seventy four, was was the meat. I only had a six on the meat. <laughs> it's only six meat. It's only six meat. <laughs> My meat's a six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a three. I gave it a seven and a half in the sauce. I gave it an 8 on the flavor, and I gave it an 8 on the price, giving me a 74 total. We're neck and neck again. Cool. Yeah, Pretty we close. are three points across, apart again. Daps, boys, daps. Um, I don't want to go. I don't want to no, go. No, I'm going to sell the dress, and we're going to do that as the dessert for sure. I hate doing this to all of us, but... uh, Dude, they gave me the hiccups, so I had to sit there for five minutes. Someone call 911? Yeah, we got to call the police. This all is right. the 911 wing. And it's awful. The aroma, it's good. Straight out the box awful. was it's so good, but it's gonna fuck your face. Wow. Straight out the box, I was, of course, I was six feet away from Jack when he handed me the wings, and I could smell them from six feet away. Oh boy, I drenched that blue cheese purposely. That yeah, ain't gonna save it. I know. And it's a quick hot too. It ain't no delay. It comes right to the mouth. Am I delayed? I was okay at first. Mine's just kind of always there. Your mouth? The hot? The heat? Yeah. Mine's no delay. Mine's coming quick. It's too cheesy. Mm. Well, good. It's coming quick. That's, that's good, good, though. Here. I don't hate it. It's just powerful. This is a good wig. I'm not even mad about you it. You know, I feel like... I couldn't order these for the fact that I can't eat more than probably five of them. But I, think Jack I enjoy it. had the code broken. Oh, man. So I did order these ones by myself. I got like 10, I think I got like 10 mediums and 10 of these. And then Pickups are uncoming. And I switched back and forth. Like I had a medium and I had 911. Well, rough time. I'm going to run this because I, I feel good right now. Good. Um, I'm going to give it an 85 on Christmas. Oh, Definitely Christmas. Really good. Um, both of those I've had. I'm not changing this. I gave it a six on me. Nothing inspiring. Um, I gave it a seven on the sauce. I gave it eight on the flavor. No matter how, how bad the kicks my ass, it still tastes damn good. Um, and I gave it eight for the price. It was seventy-five gun. Cool. Which, as we've discussed, like that's a slightly above average win. That's a good win. I would say the average win is like a sixty-five, right? Sixty, I would even say. Sixty, sixty-five for a win. It's not bad. Sixty is better than three or than um, two fifth or three fifths of the wings. True. I just want to broke the test. You did. I will. I'll go. Gary's hurting. I'm Gary's hurting. hurting. I'll go, Gary. I got you. So the nine one one. By the way, it's it's good because that was me last week with uh with Fat Man. So with Fat Man's yeah. Mine was fine last week. I don't know what happened. Our palettes uh, are different. Eight. Oh yeah, eight and a half on the crispy for sure. Um, it's a really crispy wing for like I always think of like super hot wings like being super saucy and they lose crispiness. Are you fucking your ass. Yeah. The meat I give it a seven. It's a generic sized wing. Um, sauce I give it an eight because it wasn't. Thick on there again, like usually hot wings are like super saucy. This one's kind of not, it's kind of cool. Flavor eight and a half. I actually really like the flavor on the wing because, like, if I'm expecting to get my ass kicked, please kick my ass and at least make it taste good when you do it, right? And it tastes good, it's just 
fuck your day up. Right. And now I've I said fuck your day up five times. Uh-huh. I got this cut on my hand. But that's okay. Um, and I'm actually bumping up the price point. I'm bumping up to an eight and a half. Because I would I would order this more than I would order the taco in the medium. Why? Because it's so good. Oh, Man, you're crazy. Part. And then that give me an eighty one total for mm. the eight and one. Mm-mm. Yeah, it is. 82, bud. You bumped your price. No, I didn't. The price says 8.5 right there. Oh, I thought you meant to. I thought you bumped Oh, no. Right. I was bumping it up from the other one. Okay. Proceed, Gary. Okay. So, please get a hold of Sean Kingston because somebody's got to call 911. Shorty's fire burning on the dance floor. Okay. So, these 911 wings, 911 wings. Um, My second one wasn't too crispy, but I'm going to keep it at what I had. Only for the fact that they've been sitting for a little while, so they're not going to yeah. keep the crisp. But I gave it an 8. Oh, my God, dude. My tongue is on fire. 8 for the crisp. <laughs> and uh, I need to put some ice on my tongue or something, dude. Um, 8 on the meat uh, was an average. A little above average, I would say, for the meat. I had another flat this time. I think the first time I had a drum. Uh, 7 for the sauce because the sauce wasn't crazy. There wasn't a lot of sauce on there. And then for flavor, I gave it nine because I do enjoy the flavor. It's just hot as fuck. <coughs> and then price, I have an eight. So I got an 80 all across the board. It was a solid wing. I just can't eat more than one. Yeah. I was the hater of this one. Yeah, you were. I didn't even hate it. It's just... But the, the meat. It's time for our favorite wing. It's I think. time to save us a little. Um, we got a second flat in there. Yeah, that's you. Oh, this one's me. Cool. Just, just dip it in. Yeah. So... These s'more wings that come with fluff on the side to yeah, dip into. Like... So it's um, really obviously you can probably dip it in blue cheese, but it's not as good. I don't think you want to dip fluff in blue cheese, but hey man, do you? So I'm is this uh, is this um sauce not sauce, but like dessert dipping they give us? What is this? I don't know. I think it's fluff, but it might be you know what it tastes like? It doesn't taste like fluff. It tastes like Cinnamon roll. Are these cinnamon I was, wings? I was gonna say it could be like the cinnamon, like the cinnamon. It tastes like cinnamon. Yeah, I was so gonna say it's like a cinnamon sauce. Yeah, this Let's is a dessert it. wing. Let's do it. Super sticky, dude. Though. I'm okay with it. I got some cheese. Like, look at this. Look at that drip. Oh yeah. Oh. Trying not to make a mess. Oh god. So this makes everything better. Oh, there's a smile on my face inside the Texas. This wing is so good. Wait a minute. These are great. Are these just like toast crunch? They might be. It might be a cinnamon toast crunch, but my label wrong? Whatever. Brandon it is. Lorenzo said he was just gonna make me something different, so it couldn't even be on the menu. Whatever it is, it's genius. Yeah. So mm. These are like snack wings, though. I don't, wouldn't order these at like at the bar or anything. I would like. No. No order those at Wingfest. Or it's a bedtime snack. Yeah. I'd order these late night, late at night. Because these aren't like warm anymore. These wings aren't warm anymore, but they're still good enough because they're, they're dessert. They're so incredible. Oh, they were so good when they were warm. Um, so I'm gonna go into a little backstory here. I know this is before we obviously did this whole thing, but. Gary and I went to the uh, National Buffalo Wing Fest this year. Oh, that is a nice They got a lot of wings like that there. Yeah. And that's what that instantly reminded me of. Except for that's 10 times better than anything there because it has that actual Buffalo Wing feel. It's yeah, got right. the... I ate something from Buffalo and it's got crispy to it, but it's meaty. Those are a lot of uh, out-of-town wings there. Yes, yeah, so you go to Wing Fest and majority of those vendors are not from Buffalo. They're all out-of-towners. Yep. Mm-hmm. And they give you those greasy, fatty, shitty wings. Albeit it tastes great. Yeah, a lot of good ones. It's just tough to choke down. It's almost like like why Wild Wings isn't good. Yeah. I think the out-of-towners are only worried about their sauce, not the wing itself. You no, know, for sure, because, like, I would, for the perfect combination, I want the meat, the crisp, the sauce. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You're like, hey, the flavor's good. Here. Hey. It's just the quality of the wing itself isn't great. Garbage. But they're as, also, as, think about as, it, as they're pumping out. my father's friend would say, they're garbage. Garbage. Yeah. garbage. They're also pumping out hundreds of thousands of wings because... You're not wrong, and I can't take that against them because the flavor's still great. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and those that'll pump us out some good episodes, too, so... Uh, hopefully. We'll yeah, see hopefully. if that even happens still. Um, I'll go first. Um, I give it an A5 and crisp. 
for something so doused in random concoctions of fun, I would never like that. Is what your issue always is? Yeah. Is there so much sauce and it, it takes away the crisp? It should have been soggy. Even sitting, what? It should have been soggy for how much? It like, should have been, 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 been disintegrated. Yeah. And it was still crispy. Um, I gave it an eight and a half. I gave it a seven on the meat because there was still quality of meat there. I gave it an eight on the sauce. I don't know what it was, but I want it in my mouth daily. Uh, we thought it was s'mores. It's not. I, I think it might be cinnamon toast crunch. I, it, it could be. Yeah. Um, I think he just said, he literally just said, I'm going to make you something. Flavor was a nine. It's phenomenal. And price point was an eight five. Like, I would go for that price daily. Give me give me ten, Lorenzo. 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 Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I gave it an 82, and it was goddamn good. Jack? Oh, shoot, it's my turn. Um, I'm close I'm close with Kyle. I gave an 8 on the crisp. We're, we're on top of each other. No, we're not. To get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> house. I, That's illegal I in ran, 49 of the 50 states. I don't know why I didn't run to my house and just put my phone on a charger for two minutes, but whatever. Crispiness, I gave it an 8. On the way here. I, I know I passed on the way. I'm stupid. Crispiness, I gave it an 8. Um, the meat, I give it a seven again across the board. I give all the meats a seven because I got a seven meat. <laughs> Sauciness, I give it an eight. I don't like super saucy wings, but knowing that this is a different style wing, it's a dessert wing, it's not like a hot or like a medium, I don't mind that it's super saucy because it's a different style wing, which is weird for me. Shut up. Oh, I just know I just thought of a new t shirt. I'm scared. <laughs> um, uh, I should be. <laughs> flavor, I actually gave it my highest rating on a flavor that I've given it to nine and a half on a flavor because. It's close to perfect. It's I want that all day. Ever. All day. And, like, I could potentially even bump it up to a 10. I'm not going to because there might we haven't be, found the perfect. There might be a dessert wing out there that's better than that. I don't know, but this comes pretty – this tops See, a like, lot. I like, actually, that you said that because I guess I'm sitting here looking at this being an 83 going, wow, that's real fucking high. Yeah. But then I realized we haven't reviewed a single dessert wing yet. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, that's kicking off hot. That's kicking off for Pop hot. Pop the dessert cherry. Dessert wing kettle. Yeah, pop and cherry. I gave it an eighty-two. Jack gave it an eighty-three. Gary, what did you give it? I didn't do my wing to punch point yet. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I said nine and a half on the flavor. Price was nine because I'd pay a dollar for these wings. Day hands down. Eighty-four, eighty-three. Yeah. Gary, Gary Bear. So we are all in agreement here on scores. We all had a pretty close score. Um, yeah. So with these kind of wings, what I I mean by by snack wings is little little story is. Like Kyle and I, when we go to the bar, we always get 30 meat wings meat, or a minimum. Sometimes 50, depends. We'll go to the bar. Depends on how wings. hungry your boys are. Yeah, it depends how hungry we are. Depends on if Jack's there, or Jason's there. Yeah, you right. Depends on if I'm seven wings or not. But Kyle and I always get I wings at the bar. We're talking about 30, bud. Oh, I know. I'll just we'll get always it. get the same one or two flavors and then try different wings every time. The dessert wings will be the, the wings we say, hey, let's get like 10 of these and try them. And we'll split five each. They're a good snack wing, and I would order these every time. I'd put them on my list, let's say, hey, let's get this flavor, this flavor, and then these wings are the dessert, and then I would finish them last. Solid wing. Um, for how much sauce and crap was on there, I gave it an 8 for the crisp because it was very crispy, Just even crispier than, like, the mediums, I think. I gave, I, I gave the medium an 8, too, but uh, I might even have to – I would have to uh, give uh, the dessert wing more on the crisp side. And I, if I change my score, I change my score, but I'm going to keep it for now. But um, average meat, 7.5 meat. It wasn't crazy. Right? Um, sauce, Gary, you, you, were, you were minutes from disaster. Yeah, I know. You almost just rubbed 911 sauce in your eye. No, I don't have any on my – I have some on my middle finger, but I, I knew it was on there. I have it on my – Perk. But um, well, I have – um, what did I say? 8.5 on the sauce because uh, the sauce was great. It was really good. It's not really even a sauce. It's like a – a dessert topping obviously it's like just dipping it in a little like donut or something and then flavor i gave it a nine because it was a very good flavor and then uh price is an eight and then i had an 82 overall on the wing it was a very solid wing pretty close for all of us other than we me, i think today, we all had similar scores that i think honestly it's probably our closest well quick math i think that slots into the top three of overall Wait. average score I think so, too, because overall I, average score would be, what, 82, 82, 83, 82. So 82.6, and I think the only two that are higher are, are – No. You, the overall highest grade is still Duff's Barbecue Hot. That had oh, the yeah. highest grade on the board, and yeah, one of the wing nuts had an 83. 
And I think you have an 84 with Duffs. I think that slots in the three behind one wing us. So cool. Look at us breaking breaking days. Gary, yep. um, so I know you and I have been kind of keeping track of this and before we go, uh, I don't know, I wonder if you got a good call on this. He called it the hottest. Does 9-11 jump into the heat index? I think uh, it gets at least top three. It, it, it affected me the most. I think Anchor Bar is number one for me. Anchor Bar kicked my ass. Um, it might be even two. Anchor Bar was fine for me. Do you guys still have Anchor Bar at one? I could see them at two. Yeah, I, I think they're definitely at two. That's fine. Anchor Bar did not, didn't do anything for me. I was fine. I would, he's uh, he's kicked my ass. I don't know. I could put it two or three because Inferno still is a wing that I – the Fat Man's Inferno? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. want to jump on that ever, but I will. I, I don't want to try them all together, but there has to be an episode one day where we just do all of our hot Back to back to back. Just back hots. Just boom. Yeah. Done. Well, um, that's going to be a lot of driving around. <laughs> we're getting closer to, to to real life again. I hope so. Jeez, we're missing one good. member of the Three Musketeers. Yeah. Three, three Musketeers. The Musketeers. That's cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You need to have a shirt that comes out that says, I rated my meat a 6.9. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. I rated my meat a 6.9. And, uh, guys, we killed another episode. Sweet. Some fun footage. Jack showed up at my house. It was awesome. We're, we got some big shit on the horizon. That's all I can say. Hey, we we're do. planning. We're scheming. We're, we're going to come out of this quarantine stronger than anybody. We're reeling. We're dealing. Maybe, maybe not. That, that two point conversation group that does oh, yeah. like football, they're pretty damn good too. They're pretty strong. Uh, I heard there's a Letterkenny podcast. They might be pretty cool too, though. They're probably cool. But uh, no, we're definitely top three. Yeah, top three. Um, Easy. Anybody got anything else to say? Gary, you on the spot. What do you got to say? Um, I I'm just happy to be alive. <laughs> wow, cool. That was dark. Yeah. Jack, I am waiting. <laughs> Go to phrase from Seven Wing Six, Kyle. Jack Gary.